In this video, I'll show you how to create coupons in MemberPress and go over some of the options you have to let people use them. You can create coupon codes to offer special discounts on your site. This could be to entice new members to join, reward existing loyal members, and more. You can give a discount code for people to use on the registration page when signing up for your site, or you can provide registration links with coupon codes already applied to it. So, for this video, I have a sample baking membership site here on WordPress. Now, for my WordPress dashboard, if I go into MemberPress and Memberships, you can see I have two memberships set up that people can purchase to gain access to content. Basic for $10 a month and Pro for $20 per month. To get started creating a coupon, I'll go to MemberPress and Coupons. Then I'll click Add New. You'll see a code automatically generated for this new coupon here. You can just leave this code here and use that, or you can change it to reflect what your coupon is, like Black Friday, End of Year, Spring Sale, 20 Off, etc. These coupon codes shouldn't contain spaces, quotes, or any other non-alphanumeric symbol. Only letters, numbers, hyphens, or underscores should be used. If you enter a coupon code with some spaces, MemberPress will add hyphens in between words. To show you that, I'll enter end, space of, space year, then I'll click publish. Now I'll go to MemberPress and coupons and see the code here with the hyphens added in. I'll click to edit this coupon and then I'll just change it to end of year, all one word. Now here under coupon options, you'll see a number of things. The first, discount, is where you'll set the amount off you want the coupon to be. In this dropdown, you could select the discount to be a percentage off or set a dollar amount. This dollar amount will use the currency code you have set up in the general tab of your member press settings. So if you have percentage selected here, you can enter any amount from zero to 100, where if you set it to 100%, the memberships affiliated with this coupon will be free. Now, these discounts will act differently, depending on if the memberships you select below for the coupon are recurring, like billed every month or year, for example, or are one-time, meaning users pay only one time. If the membership is recurring, the discount will be applied to every billing of the subscription. So, if it's a monthly membership, the discount here, which I'll just set to 10% for my example, will be 10% off every month's bill for the life of the subscription. If you set the percentage to be 100% on a recurring subscription, the member will get lifetime access for free. The discount won't apply to paid trial periods. If you have a trial period set up in your membership edit page, say seven days for $5, this discount won't apply to those seven days. If the membership is one time, it'll simply apply the discount to the first and only one time payment. Okay, so the next option you see is discount mode. And the first option here is standard. This simply applies the discount to the amount of the subscription or charge. Next, first payment will let you set a different discount on the first transaction than the subsequent transactions in a recurring subscription. If this first payment value is set for a non-recurring payment, like a one-time membership, then the first payment discount will override the coupon's main discount. So I could, just as an example, select first payment as the discount mode and set it to 20%. So my member's first payment amount would be 20% off, then 10% off for all other billings. You could also use this first payment mode to only give the first payment a discount, like 50%, and no discount on the subsequent payments. And that would look like this. The third discount mode is trial period override. This will create a custom trial period using the number of days and costs you enter here. This option will only work on recurring payments and will override any trials already set up on the membership. With trial period override, the discount set here will still apply to the subscription's recurring amount after the trial period. See our support docs for more info on trial period override. So before moving on, for this sample coupon, I'm gonna set the mode back to standard and keep it as a 10% off discount. So next we see usage count. This is used to determine the number of times the coupon can be used. It's set to infinite by default, but you could limit it to 50, 100, or whatever amount you want. 
Enter any whole number, and setting it to zero makes it unlimited. I'll leave this one set to infinite or unlimited. The next option is allow on upgrades and downgrades. Check this if you want to let members use this coupon if they upgrade or downgrade their subscriptions, as well as when they purchase a new membership. So, in my case, I have two memberships, Basic and Pro. If I check Allow on Upgrades and Downgrades, if a user signs up for my Basic membership, they'll get my 10% off discount when they sign up. And if they decide to upgrade to my Pro membership later, they can use this coupon code to upgrade their subscription, too. Or, if someone's already a member, they can use the coupon when they upgrade or downgrade their subscription. The next option is Schedule Coupon Start. Checking this will let you choose a date in the future for your coupon to start being effective. Users won't be able to use this coupon before this date. I won't use this for my example, so my coupon will be usable immediately after I publish it. And here, Expire Coupon, will let you set a date that your coupon will stop being usable. Coupons will expire at midnight Coordinated Universal Time, UTC, on the date you choose. After this date, any user who tries to use the coupon won't get a discount. Next, Apply Coupon to the following memberships lets you choose which of your published memberships in MemberPress this coupon will apply to. Hold the Control key or Command key on Mac to select multiple memberships. For my example, I'll select both my Basic and Pro memberships. And finally, there's this Description field here. You can add a brief description of what your coupon's for to give yourself a reminder in the future. Only admins on your site will be able to see this. Keep it short as to not clutter up your coupons page, which I'll show you later. So, for my sample coupon, I'll type a brief description here. Then, to save it, I'll click Publish. Now, I'll click Add New. Then, I'll quickly create another coupon as an example. I'll name this Limited Time. Set the discount to 25% with a standard discount mode. Usage count will be 20. Coupon start will be some date in the future, and I won't give it an expiration date. Then I'll click Publish. And I'll go ahead and pause the video and create a few more coupons. Okay, now that I have a few coupons created, I'll show you how to manage them. I'll go to Member Press and Coupons. In here, I can see all the coupons I have on my site. You can see details of each coupon in these columns here. If you click Screen Options here at the top, you can customize what columns you see, as well as how many coupons to display per page. You can see the Discount Amount and Mode, where None refers to the standard discount, First Payment, where you can see the first payment discount amount with an arrow, and then the subsequent discount amount. Or you can see details about the trial period override for coupons that use that. You can see when a coupon starts, expires, how many people have used it, and how many uses are allowed, and what memberships the coupon applies to. You could hover over each coupon to delete it by clicking Trash, or you can edit an individual coupon. You can also click the coupon name to edit it too. Going back to the coupons page, you could highlight all or multiple coupons using these boxes. Select Move to Trash under Bulk Options, and click Apply to delete the coupons you selected. And one last thing on this page, you can also search for coupons by name here. This can come in handy if you have many pages of coupons to sort through and need to find a specific one. Okay, now I'll briefly show you what this looks like for users on the registration page. First, I'll go to Member Press, Settings, and the Account tab. And here, under the Registration section, you'll see this option here, Enable Coupon Field on Membership Registration Forms. It's enabled by default when you set up MemberPress, and will add text on your registration form that, when clicked, shows a field to enter a coupon code. So, to show you what this looks like, I'll open my site in a new incognito window, or a browser where I'm not logged in as my site's admin, so I can create a test account. Then, I'll go to Sign Up, and click Sign Up for my Basic Membership. Then I'll be taken to the Basic Membership Registration form. And here you can see the Have a Coupon text. I'll enter some fake testing data here on the registration. Then, in the Coupon field, I'll enter a random string of characters that isn't a real coupon on my site. And then I'll see this invalid coupon text here. 
Now, I'll enter the name of a coupon that I created earlier with a start date set to a day in the future, and I get the same invalid text, since I won't be able to use this coupon code until the date I chose as the start date. So now, I'll enter that first coupon I created earlier in the video, end of year. And now, I see the total cost adjusted here below. I'll complete the registration process for this test user using some fake testing data. And then, once that's done, I'll be taken to my thank you page. Now, logged in as the new test user I just created, I'll go up here to Members Only and Account, which takes me to this user's MemberPress account page. This is a page created by MemberPress by default where users can see information about their account, change their subscriptions, and more. I'll click the Subscriptions tab, and here you can see the test user's active subscription to the basic membership, with this text here indicating that I used the coupon. If I go to the Payments tab, I can see the $9 payment too, which was the discounted amount. Now, I'll close this incognito window and show you what this looks like to you as the admin. Back in my WordPress dashboard, I'll go to MemberPress and Subscriptions. And here, you can see the active subscription by the test user, and the coupon that was used here, too. And if I go back to MemberPress and Coupons, I can see here the usage count for the coupon has been updated to 1 of Unlimited. And if I click that 1 slash Unlimited text, I'll be taken to the Transactions page that lists all transactions that have used my end-of-year coupon. And one more thing. I'll go back to MemberPress, Settings, and the Account tab. Now, the reason I was able to enter my coupon as a test user on the registration page was because this Enable Coupon field on Membership Registration Forms option is enabled. It's not completely necessary for you to have this enabled. You can choose to disable it if, for example, you don't have any active coupons for members to use and want to keep your registration form as minimal and clean as possible. You could also disable this option if you want to discourage people from scouring the internet for coupon codes and entering them on your registration pages. If you want to keep the have coupon text off your registration pages, but still want to provide certain people discounts, through email for example, you could send them a registration URL with the coupon code already applied. To do this, you'd simply add this to the end of your registration page URL. So, for example, here's the link to my basic membership registration page. I could add this to the end of the URL, which would look like this, and send this out. So when someone visits the URL, they can register for my basic membership with the discount code already applied. I'll open a new incognito window real quick to show you. I'll paste in my basic registration page with the coupon code applied at the end of the URL, which you can see here. And here's what the registration page looks like. See our knowledge base, linked in the description, for the text to copy and paste at the end of your URLs. And that's it, you've now seen how to create coupons with MemberPress. If you liked the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos that makes getting MemberPress up and running a breeze.